Yo, what's going on, 60 Simulander Squad? We're doing a dual tier list today during the uh, during the fundraiser stream. And here we are. I already have some things labeled. Already have some things labeled, but we're we're just gonna start from here. These are all pretty self-explanatory, by the way, I think. So I don't think I need to explain those. Uh, um Anubis. I would say Anubis is A tier because of all the um the the not brawling debuff on the on the lifesteal and the fact that anti-heal items are good again. I think he's A tier, not S tier anymore. Unfortunately, because I do love playing Anubis. But yeah. <clears throat> is there a time this is supposed to end if we don't hit 24 hours? Yes. At midnight. It's currently almost 9 p.m. Alright, Ao Kwong. Ao Kwong. He's good. He's got really good damage. But you have to be really close to him. And he doesn't have any CC other than his alt, I guess. But... Um... I'm going to go ahead and say B tier. Just because he has no range associated with it. His, his damage is really good, which sets him off from C tier. I'll watch the C tier, by the way, because his damage is unconfirmable. So... All right, Afro, probably A tier as well. She's a, a ranged mage, which makes her pretty good with high survivability, even with the brawling and anti-heal changes. But the alt is really what matters a lot. A low cooldown immunity, along with Beads Aegis, means you can almost never die to an alt of the enemy. And if you make it to late game, you should be able to win almost every time. So we take those. Apollo, S tier, he's a hunter. He can abuse Death Embrace. Not unstoppable. But a good hunter. Pretty self-explanatory. Arachne, huh? Definitely A tier or higher. Uh she's I mean she's got good damage. See the reason she's better than B tier in my opinion is because she has a stun. She has a confirmable stun. And she can abuse Death Embrace. And she's got healing in her kit. I think she's A tier. I think she's A tier. Oh, Ragni is a bitch. Okay. Um, also, I have notifications muted. That's my bad. Let me turn that on. Ares. Just not good. <laughs> Artemis, I think, is A tier. She's a hunter. She's good. But unlike these hunters, her trading isn't that strong. Like, she doesn't have the passive that Apollo has or the, the hive to just permanently increase attack speed or, you know, a stun, like, on her. So, I think she's A. I think she's A. Yeah, she doesn't have an escape either. All of these do. Well, I mean, AMC doesn't, but he doesn't need one because he kills the enemy and they're, they're dead. I actually think RTO is better than Ares. Ares has good clear now with his three, but he can't clear the wave, which is the downfall. So you almost always fall behind. RTO can clear a wave. Okay. Sorry, we're changing. Um, we're changing candles. I guess I can keep going. Athena is. Probably. Huh? What'd you say? We'll see. Oh, what did this pop up? Okay, Athena, what did, what did she. C tier? Athena's better than Ares, I think. Actually. Her cooldowns are a lot shorter. Definitely not as good as Achilles or Aokuang. Yeah, I think this is good. I don't know. Maybe Aquan should be B tier. Whatever. I'll put them here and then we'll change them if I if I find them better. Why is that not going off? That should have gone off. Oh, it did go off. I couldn't hear. Okay. Um. <coughs> A Wheelix. Get out of my life. You're C tier. Baba, fucking E tier. Get out of my life. I'll put you D. I'll put you, I'll put you D. 
Bacchus actually B tier? Not oh no. Athena's better than Bacchus. And oh, Athena's better than all these gods, actually. Okay, Bacchus are S tier. Really good. I'll trade anyone and everyone all at the same time. Baron, A tier. I actually think Baron's not bad. I think I think Baron is underrated by a lot of people. He's very strong. When you spam something, thank you. I was told there was a fundraiser over in this thing. Here you go, friend. Thank you, Lord Salads. I think when you get hit high level and you have max cooldown, Baron's really strong, actually. But getting there is a little tough sometimes. Bastet. Bastet can be annoying. Bastet's A tier, for sure. She's got really good damage, and she's pretty safe because she can jump back. A Nox game? Yeah, bro. Let me add that to the list. Let me add that to the list. Kabrakian, um... Thank you, by the way. Exeter for the 25. Um... I'll go B tier. Maybe A tier. No, because if you go double defense, you just live. You just... I mean, you're just fine. You know, like, it's not bad. He's not bad. I don't think these guys are bad either. I think they're just, you know, iffy. So I think I think we'll go B tier. Dino with a hundred dollar donation, man. Thank you so fucking much, dude. Thank you, man. Kamazots S tier. I think he's still super strong. I think Kamazots. Uh I'm biased. May, am I biased? I think Kamazots might be A tier. I mean, Look, you want the majority of gods to be in the A to B tier in a tier list. But I I don't know if Kamazots is A tier or S tier. I feel like he's S tier, but maybe that's just because I'm good with him. Fuck. Um, he's got a lot of sustain. He's got a completely damage immune alt, which is huge a big plus uh, he's s tier okay um kernanos uh, i want to put him s tier but i'm very bad with him so i can't really show it off but i do know people that are really good with him they're good at abusing the one i think statistically speaking he's very strong if you can use the one effectively and just because i can't do that doesn't mean he's not good so i i will put him s tier <clears throat> Uh, Cerberus. That's A tier. I think Cerberus is better than every other Guardian. Do I mean that? I think I mean that. Yeah, I mean that. I think he's good. I think Cerberus is nuts. Wait, Sam, I donated 100. Play Mulan. Okay, I'll add another Mulan game. I have two Mulan games now. Uh, Chalk. Chalk is A tier. Objectively good. Not really that bad. He can build super tanky and still frag out. He's got a lot of healing. Got really good boxing potential. And the mitigations on his shit is really strong. Chung out B tier. Really OP if you get to late. Forget it. You already have one? Okay. Really OP if you can get her late. Really strong. Getting too late is not easy. It's very, very not easy with Chang'e, so I th I'm going to put her B. Cherno, I'm going to go A. He's a hunter, which makes him automatically A tier. But um, he's one of the worst hunters, so unfortunate. Chiron, same thing. I actually think Chiron might be S, but that I, that's biased. He's objectively, you know, he's got an escape, but it's not a leap. He has no damage immunity. His ult really isn't that good in duel overall, because you very rarely can get the reset. Um, and his abilities have such a long timer on the explosion that I, I just think that he's more of a conquest god, a team fighting god than a solo god. Kronos, S tier, he's OP, just really strong. Cthulhu, I'll put Cthulhu at C, because while he is good, and he's, he's, he's quite good at, at getting to late game, once you get to late game, if your enemy is anyone that can buy concise, you just lose the game. Like, you actually just lose. 
Cthulhu, I'm going to put A. Most people think, or not Cthulhu, sorry, uh, Kukulin. Most people think he's S tier, which I actually don't disagree with at the moment because he's, he's pretty fucking strong. Well, no, this is a dual tealers for season eight. So yeah, I mean, I S tier. I think, I think Kukulin's really fucking strong right now. I think Cupid is also S tier. I think he's a hunter, but he's a good hunter because he has built in sustain. Uh, Daji can hop down there at B tier. Gets countered by a lot and outstrayed by most things. Discordia, A tier. She's a good mage. Nothing that can beat like any of these gods up here. Beats most of these gods down here and is on par with these. Anubis, you know, could be, could be S, but I'm going to stick with it in A. Erling, I think, is S tier, actually. And hear me out, because this one's controversial. Death's Embrace, super fucking OP, right? He's got a knockup and a shield. He's got an ult that gives him a lot of sustain. But more than likely, you don't even use the ult for sustain. You use it to combo with your 2 and your 3 in order to get the kill. And his burst damage is absolutely nutty. I think Erling is S tier. Unstoppable tier? Absolutely not. All of these gods shit on, on Erling. Absolutely not unstoppable. But he is S tier. In my opinion. This is my opinion. Fafnir, I'm going to put B. I think Fafnir is a pretty good guardian. <clears throat> um, you transform into dragon form and all of a sudden you kill everything you look at. So, you know, that being said, he's still only a B tier because you only kill stuff when you have your transformation. So, that's that. Fenrir got a lot of buffs recently to his 1 and his 3. I don't think they're bad. I don't think he's bad at all. Um, in fact, I actually think he's quite good. Is he good to go to S tier though? No. No, he doesn't win against these characters. He does not win against these characters. He can beat these ones for sure. But he doesn't beat these ones. So I think, I think putting Fenrir in A is pretty good. Now Freya. Freya is gonna be controversial. I know everybody thinks Freya is super OP. Unstoppable tier. S tier. I personally think Freya is A tier. Now, why I think Freya is A tier is because, one, you have a really hard time clearing early game, so it's very hard in order to, to get her to late game. If she gets to late game, she wins. Right? She wins. That's obvious. If she gets to late game, she wins. But getting to late game is hard because her clear is ass. You know, like it's actually at, it's kind of the same thing with Chang Ao. But the reason she's ahead of Chang Ao is because she has range. Chang Ao doesn't have range. She has to get up, up close and personal. And Freya's early game is arguably better than Chang Ao. But I think with the, the lifesteal changes, the ring changes, and everything else, I think Freya's A tier. That's just me. That's just me, dude, you know? I know all the comments are going to be angry at me. Freya's fucking unstoppable tier. All I did was play Freya and I have 3,500 cat MMR and GM duel. I don't care. Okay. I think she's A tier. <laughs> um, Ganesh. I think Ganesh is C tier. He's got good damage, but it's extremely unconfirmable. If you, if you land the alt combo, you one shot. But landing the alt, com alt combo is really rare in duel. Because everyone's expecting it, you know? Geb is B tier. Because unlike Ganesh, his ult is extremely easy to hit with the combo. It's a percentage health ult, which means it always does a lot of damage. And um, you go poly, it's very easy to one-shot. Guan Yu. Um, I want to say Guan Yu is S tier. But I, no, Guan Yu is A tier. He's really strong. Like If this were a conquest list, he'd be unstoppable. Guan Yu is first pick, first ban every fucking game. He's insane. But in duel, in duel, I'm not quite sure. I, he's good. He's definitely good. But I, I don't see him winning against any of these characters up here. I, I could see him beating Freya. I could see him beating Discordia, Chernobog, Artemis. You know, I could see those things. But Erlang Shen being outtraded by Guan Yu in duel, I don't think that happens. I don't think that happens. Next up, Hachiman. I think Hachiman is literally just as good as Chiron, so I'm going to put him at A tier. I think they're good for the same reasons. Hades S tier. 
Hades is nuts. You know, why is he nuts? Immediate clear at the very start of the game, period. Just, he always clears. He could have no items, and he always clears. Late game, you got max cooldown. You're always making outplays with the fear. The fear is a two-second long fear that not only is a CC, but also gains you distance because it fears them away. And your ult gives you percent mitigations and does a ton of damage. I think he's nuts. I think he's nuts. Hebo. Hebo is unstoppable. You know, like Fenrir beats Hebo. Everyone knows the infamous counter matchup. But if you're not Fenrir, like <laughs> you're having a really fucking hard time beating Hebo. You're having a really fucking hard time. Hebo is unstoppable. Hell is S tier. When you get max cooldowns online, you're tanky, you're doing damage, you're healing, you're faster than everybody. You've got CC immunity built into your kit, so you don't need beads. I think I think hell is S tier. Hachiman. Now, Hachiman, I'm going to put it S tier. And I know I made a video bashing Hachiman because I think he's a piece of shit, to be completely honest. But I think if you play Hachiman the way Hachiman is supposed to be played, which, by the way, is AFK under your tower. Oh, yeah, I mean Heimdall. I've been saying Hachiman the whole time. Heimdall. Um, if you play Heimdall the way that you're supposed to play Heimdall, which is AFKing under your tower, using your three to auto-attack reset and clear wave faster, if you get to late game, you are out-damaging every single hunter in the game. You are doing so much damage. It's ridiculous. I would love a Gev or Scylla game. Frank, thank you for the donation. What? Uh, which one would you want, dude? I know, I have a ton of guys to play. Which one would you want, Gev or Scylla? Uh, Hera. I'll put Hera. Uh, I'll put Hera at A. I think Hera's really good. Argus is really good. Again, if you get her to late game. Early game, she's kind of like Luster. It's very, very easy to just kill her when she Arguses you. Because if she just kills you when you when if you if you kill her when she Arguses, her Argus just disappears. It doesn't stay and kill you, you know. So I think I think it's pretty easy. I think Hera is a solid A. I think Hera is one of the better A tiers to be honest, but I don't think she's good enough to get to the S tier yet. You want Geb? Whichever you choose. Um, so I'll write down Geb or Scylla then, and when the time comes to play him, I'll decide. Reminder, uh, this is a dual tier list, not Conquest, so chill in the comments. By the way, can I hop in on the next two games? IDN, same as Twitch. Love you. Absolutely, you can. Let me uh, kick out someone who's been here the whole time. And what is your name? Candy. I invite you. Hercules, A tier. A really solid warrior, really strong um overall but at the end of the day still gets shredded by kins or any hunter in the game or basically any auto attack character in the game i also think hades beats hercules because hades with max cooldown just wins and yeah i mean you got the unstoppable people that just win everything all right horse you can suck my actual nuts get down there with baba yaga now i know there's there's the one guy in duel that plays horus it's pringles by the way and he plays horus at an astronomical high level but Horus is not good. Any normal player picks Horus, loses the game fucking immediately. There, there's just there's just no chance. What? You made a one-shot Horus video. I know. Do you know how many takes it took? It took a, it took a lot of takes. It took a lot of attack. It took me like five hours to get that video. <laughs> He's not good. He's not good. Um, Let's see. Poi, Poi's S tier. Poi's arguably unstoppable tier. He's an extremely good hunter. But if I don't put AMC and and on her and unstoppable, I'm not, definitely not putting Hoi. I think Hoi is unstoppable because the RNG associated with him is fucking ridiculous to me. But whatever, whatever, doesn't matter. Unbats <clears throat> B tier. Good damage, but unconfirmable. Beats counters his ult. It's okay, not great. Um, was was a tier, good mage, good damage. Definitely not out trading these boys, but having a pretty decent chance against these characters and any melee character. 
Uh, Izanami is unstoppable in my opinion. She's fucking ridiculous. She's way better than AMC or on her or Kronos or Erlang Shen or Hell. I think Izanami is stupid as shit and quite frankly should be reworked. But she's not going to be. She never will be because she's so unique. But I think she's ridiculous. And these are my bans, by the way. These are literally my bans. When I get in the game, I'm banning Izanami, Oi, Bologna, Set Osiris. Like, <laughs> the Unstoppable tier is my bans. Except Hoi is thrown in there because I personally hate him. But, yeah, Izanami's broken ridiculous. In Duel, Giannis is a solid B tier. Unconfirmable damage. Which is kind of confirmable now with the change on the two, to be completely honest. But um, long cooldowns and not enough scaling to be good. Jing Wei, I mean, I think she's probably a C tier, but she is a hunter. And she does have CC, so I'll put her at A tier. I'll put her at A. Um, Jormungandr, you can be down there at C tier. Because I think C tier is... Honestly, C tier is where most of the, the Guardians be living. There's a couple up here in B tier, but C tier is down there. Kali, S tier. Not unstoppable. Not unstoppable, but still very strong. Still very strong. Kepri. The first addition to E tier. Welcome, Kepri. You are worse than every other god in this game. You make it difficult for me to enjoy life when I have to play you. And quite frankly, I would make an F tier just for you. Not my hug bug. Yo, Zach, thank you for the 2850 bits. Hope the stream's going well. Yeah, I'm having a good time. All right, King Arthur, he's a good warrior. Um, he struggles late game, but his early and mid game is insane. Kind of the opposite of like Freya. So I'm going to put him at A tier. Again, you want most of your characters to be in this general area here uh, for tier lists. Who Kulkin, I'm going to put A tier instead of B tier, which I know people are going to be weirded out about. Um, but I actually think Who Kulkin's not bad, just honestly. I really just don't. All right, Kumba S tier. Ah, uh, just kidding. He's fucking... Kumba's probably... Kumba's probably C tier. Probably C tier. His damage is good. Um... Bead stops him though. So, Kuzumbo, same thing. Good damage, Bead stops him though. Literally just delegitimized your whole tier list with Kumba, not an unstoppable tier. Thanks, Eric. Trash streamer. Unlucky, dude. Loki. New Loki is probably B tier. Like, if I, if I, if I fought New Loki and I was like Hun Bats, I'd be like, okay, I can win this, you know? If I fought Loki and I was Cerberus, I'd be like, yeah, I can win this game. No problem. I think new Loki is not that good. New Loki in Conquest is fucking nuts. Just absolutely nuts. New Loki in Duel? Ugh, bad. He's, he's bad. How the fuck is Baba Yaga worse than Kumba? That guy's trash. I got Baba Yaga's trash. Medusa will put an S tier. Really good attack steroid as well as um, good clear and a really nice alt. Mercury will pull... We'll put eight. Uh, we'll put in Mer. Ah, oh, fuck. This is a hard one, actually. It's between A and B. He's not as bad as C, D, or E, but it's between A or B. I think maybe A or B. Is it A or B? I think it's B. I think he's good, but he's just not, he's not confirmable. If there was a B plus, I would put him there. He's better than Loki. Yeah, he's better than Loki, but like, he's a melee god. And at the end of the day, most mages beat melee gods. You know? He's easy to juke. His alt is not confirmable whatsoever. And it's easy to counterbuild him with spectral and, and defense. I think it's it's B, just because of how easy it is to counterbuild. Merlin, I think, is just a, a solid mage all around, a, a tier, not much explanation. Mulan 
In Conquest, I would actually put B tier. Maybe A tier. In Duel, you can suck a dick. Terrible. Terrible god. You're not winning the game. If you pick her, expect to lose. You might get the occasional win if you fight somebody without arms. Other than that, you're losing. Just a fact. Neath is A tier. Um, she's a hunter, which makes her automatically A tier at the minimum. But I think, you know, she's, eh, she's okay. I beat Panatom in duel and he was Mulan. Oh, there you go. You can beat anyone in duel if they pick Mulan. Nemesis, I think, is A tier as well. I think she's really strong. She's got a rough early game, obviously. But at the end of the day, she's an auto, she's an auto attack assassin <clears throat> with really good mobility and sustain with the three um and incredible out trade potential so i think she's a tier i don't think she's b tier she might be s tier nemesis might be s tier but i'm gonna put her in a tier for now all right naja naja honestly because of the heal the heal buff he got to his two where it's um it's based off how much power you have. I think he's actually pretty good. I'd say Nem is S. You'd say Nem is S. I want to put Nemesis at S, but I don't know, dude. I think she's really strong. I think Nemesis is really strong. Nemesis is probably the strongest A tier person I have on the list. Maybe I do put her S tier then. Yeah, I'll, I'll put her S tier. She is the strongest A tier I have on the list. We'll bump her up. Nike, I think, is A tier. I think she's actually pretty good. Because you can build Nike auto attack. Sunder, uh, Sunder counters her. Sunder completely fucks on Nike. We'll put her B tier. Nox, you can suck a dick. You're at C tier. All of your damage is unconfirmable. And even if you do confirm it, it's really not that much damage overall. So suck a dick. You're a loser. Um, Nuwa's A tier. Nuwa's A tier. I think she's got really good damage. And it's actually confirmable. It's very hard to fuck up the new Wa 2-3 combo. So I think it's I think she's actually pretty good. Odin, I think, is actually pretty good as well. I don't know why we don't see him more. Not many people play him. The attack speed steroid buff you can do on your three, along with completely countering any kind of healing in your alt. Um, and the fact that his alt does damage if you jump out of it now, pretty fucking good. Pretty good. Not the best, but pretty good. Oleron, he is an auto attacker. He doesn't, he, he can abuse Death's Embrace, but he has a low HP starting thing. I, I think Oleron is A. His alt is good, but like if you build Aegis, you build Aegis, you can Aegis Oleron's entire thing. You can Aegis Oleron's entire alt. I think A tier is a good spot for him. Uh, Pele. Pele might be S. Pele is really strong. She, you don't see her played very much. Because. Honestly. You don't see her played very much. I don't know why. But she is really strong. The sustain she has with her ult. Even without any lifesteal built in. Is crazy. Yeah, she has re she has really hard matchups is the only issue. And against AMC and on her and Hoi and Apollo, she does lose. Like Bakasura, Kamazot, she loses those matchups. So I guess because of that, she's A tier. But she might be, she might be the strongest A tier I have. She might be the strongest A tier I have. Um, all right. Persephone in duel B. Unconfirmable damage. It's very good damage, but it's extremely unconfirmable, which makes her hard to play. Obviously, if you're like, oh my god, Paul wins every time. Unstoppable. He's fucking Paul. All, uh, Paul's tier list would have nothing other than the unstoppable tier because he's fucking Paul. It doesn't count. I think she's B. Her damage is inconfirmable. It is good damage. And she has good clear, which is why she's B and not C. But it's not good. I think Poseidon's unstoppable tier. And this one might be controversial because I know a lot of people have no problem with Poseidon. But I think if you pick Poseidon in duel, every game out of 100 games, most people would have an 80% or higher win rate with him. 
I think I think most people most people would agree with me that unstoppable tier Poseidon is actually okay. Because he's fucking nuts. Right? Like if I'm fighting if I'm fighting AMC or Bakasura as Poseidon, I'm like, I can win this game easy. You know? Easy. He's got instant clear all game. He got, he's really fast with his two active. And he outtrades most people because of his two. I think he's unstoppable. Yeah, and yeah. Um, you bring in a good point. He is very versatile in build build choice too. Um, Raz A, really good damage. Better clear than most mages here. Um, his damage is unconfirmable, but the difference is he has sustain. These these people down here, they have unconfirmable damage, but no sustain. Like Chang Ah, she does have sustain, but she's really bad early game and only pops off late game. I think I think Ra is actually not bad. Like Ra and Kukulkin or Kukulkin are two mages that I think are like bad, like stigmatized to be really bad in duel. But I actually think they're not that bad. I have a lot of fun when I play Ra. Um, Raijin is probably A tier as well. Uh, you know, obviously I don't play Raijin that much. I do think he's very good. Um, the only issue there is that his jump or his his escape is kind of a long charge up, and also, um, other than his escape having a long charge up, his his cooldowns are really fucking long. So, yeah, I think A tier. Rom, probably S tier. He's got an extremely fast attack speed steroid. 70% actually. 75% maybe. Uh, I think he's better than Jingwei. I think he's better than Neath. You know, I think he's better than those hunters. His clear is lacking. Hey, baby. Thank you for... So I don't know where my, my fiance went. She's supposed to be sitting next to me, but she's not. Thank you for the resub, baby. And Chaos, thank you for the resub too. Um, okay, Ratatasker. Uh, I actually think Ratatasker is good, by the way. Which most people disagree with me on. <laughs> I think Ratatasker is not bad, but if you go the health acorn and the build and the uh, a full tank rat build, he's actually banger. He's actually banger. He's pretty good. That being said, he it's hard to clear with him and stay relative early game, and it's also difficult to um get your build online. So I think I'm gonna put him in B tier, just because I know most people expect him to be a b tier however i personally think he's a tier i will say that ravana i actually think is a tier and i think he's a very strong character i think he's a high a tier um the immunity on his two is nuts just like chang ah except he doesn't have a bad early game he has a really good early game and he's got a really good late game so and he's got a heal just like chang on the three but unlike chang ah he has percent damage mitigation on his alt and he has um a root to keep himself relevant yeah i'll do danza and tiamat after Scylla a tier just a solid mage all around nothing special sir cat c tier very very bad in my opinion because one she can't clear at all at any point in the game just really bad clear period the two i mean the the fighting combo is good don't get me wrong the 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 two alt one auto combo that that'll explode somebody but getting that off requires you to get their their relic first um and it requires you to actually not be six levels behind which you will be because you're sir cat so i think that's fair scotty i'm putting at s tier she's scotty it's a 2v1 obviously op so back i'm putting at b tier with fafnir and geb because i actually and, and kabraken because i think he's nuts um he's got good sustain he's got good cooldowns on his abilities his three and his two his one is a long cooldown but i think this is good i think sobeka b tier is good actually soul i'll put a tier she's she's just like oleron i mean they're like the same character pretty much so i'm gonna put them there sun wukong a tier i think he's a good warrior he can't abuse Death's Embrace very well, though. And nobody's going to be auto-attack Wukong. 
<laughs> hopefully, at least, hopefully. Um, Susano is Susano's A tier. He's got good clear. He's got good burst. The only issue is that if he misses his three or his two, he he kind of loses the fight. His cooldowns are quick though, so he doesn't lose the game off of it. So I think he's A tier. Sylvanas goes down here with um with Ares for me, where I think his fighting potential is really good, but uh, you can't push any objective ever. Dude, Kepri's all alone in E tier. Whatever, stay down there, bitch. Terra, I think, is A tier. I think Terra's the best Guardian because, you one, you have the stun. Two, you have knock-up immunity the entire game just by being Terra, which, by the way, is ridiculous. You have AoE auto attacks, so your clear is not bad. And your ult will explode somebody. Now, all that being said, she's still bad. But she's better than other Guardians. I think. I think she's better than other Guardians. Kilo of Pepsi. That's a, that's a lot of Pepsi. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the tier one. Thanatos will put at A tier. He's good. He's got good clear. AoE autos, um... Really good sustain. The only downside the reason he's not S tier is because you miss your scythe, you're dead. Are you gonna put Sylvanas below Kumba? Um <clears throat> Morgan is A tier. You're every character in the game, so technically you could be unstoppable tier. Um <laughs> No, but yeah, I, I think I think Morgan is A tier. She's just a solid mage. Thor, I think, is B tier. Unconfirmable damage and outtraded by many auto attack or mage characters. Thoth is A tier. Long range mage. Nothing crazy because you do get outtraded a lot, but still pretty strong overall. Tsukiyomi is S. I'm not even going to explain why. I just think he's OP. Um, I think tier is A tier. I think tier is a really good warrior, actually. Uller is unstoppable, by the way. Just going to throw that up there. Um,. I think Tear is good. I do think Tear is good. Lamana. I'm gonna put Vulcan at S tier, by the way, because I think Vulcan's nuts. Um, he's got really low cold cooldowns. Same damage as Hebo. The only difference is Hebo's ult is confirmable. Vulcan's isn't. But Vulcan two is really good for something. Um. I'm going to put Vamana at A tier. And and listen, Vamana is very strong. Vamana actually in the current meta might be S tier because of Death's Embrace and the fact that you can just slam down Big Baby style with your ult. He's extremely good at auto attacking. He's got good clear through. I'm putting him ass. I'm putting him ass. I think Vamana is strong. I'm putting him ass. Expel is just an A tier hunter. Um, Zing Ten. Zing Ten has really good damage, actually. And the fact that his ult does damage through beads now is actually really nice. So yeah, I'll do that. Yumoja is A tier. Yumoja's up here with Terra. Because Yumoja just spams. It actually just spams. Yeah, Yamoja and, and Terra are actually really good guardians. Ymir is also up here with them. They all have clear. They all can auto attack trade. Um, I mean Yamoja doesn't auto attack trade, but she has the alt. I actually the highest win rate guardian I have is Yamoja. I think she's kind of nuts. She and she does proc Death's Embrace on her own minions right now. That's true. Zeus is a solid A mage. Zonkwe is a solid A mage. Actually, Zeus might be B tier. Because he has no escape. But you can't really jump on him, but like if you're any you're, most of these gods can poke him out. And then we'll go. Um obviously they don't have Danza and Tiamat yet. Danza, I think, is S tier. I think he goes right here. Danza Burrow. And Tiamat is probably A tier. Probably A tier. She's strong, but not nuts. So I think uh, 
stands out to you, Matt, right here. I think this is the tier list. I think this is what we do. I save this. Um, I make add com tier list or edit com tier list. There you go. And um, yeah, I just think this is the tier list. I think it's I think it's pretty good actually for dual. I think it's a really good tier list for dual. Who beats who an unstoppable tier? Um, honestly, Hebo, Hebo is, Hebo, Uller, oh fuck, I don't know, they're all nuts, they're all nuts, I have no idea. Trade Uller and Kumba, stop talking to me. That's the end of the video, hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time guys, peace.